Hi, Alyssa Essman, Weed Science Extension Specialist uh, for Ohio State. Today we're out at the Battle for the Belt uh, demonstration plots at Farm Science Review, and we noticed a couple of suspect uh, weeds out here. We think Osler might be hampering with the uh, soybeans. So we have a Palmer amaranth and a water, which happen to be very close, and so we can walk through some of the identifying characteristics and how we can tell these two problematic pigweed species apart. So if we come to our Palmer amaranth, uh, there's a couple things we notice. The first of which is the really long petiole. So if we pluck our leaf off of the plant, we see that the petiole is about as long or longer than the leaf. Uh, that's our first clue that we're dealing with Palmer. It has a very egg-shaped leaf uh, as opposed to water hemp. If we come this way, it has a lot more shortened petiole and a longer leaf surface. So that's what these two look side by side. Uh, apart from that, the palmer will have kind of this bundle of spikes right around the leaf node and the water hemp will not. As opposed to something like a red root pigweed or a smooth pigweed, both of these species are hairless, uh, which is kind of our first identifying characteristic for, oh no, we have you know this really problematic pigweed. Uh, but if we look closely at our leaves, this extended petiole and those spikes on the palmer will help tell it apart from the water hemp. Uh, in terms of control, at this time of year, unfortunately, we don't have many chemical options, and really our best option is to just pull it out. Uh, so if we're in our soybean fields late season, doing some scouting, maybe evaluating how our, well our herbicide programs worked, uh, we know that the emergence window for both of these weeds is just really extended, right? Uh, if we get some late rains, it can just continue coming up throughout the year. So our best option is just yank it out. Uh, if we have seeds on our weeds, uh, we want to carefully bag them and remove them from the field versus laying them down uh, where they could then contribute back into the soil seed bank.